Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and since lately so so many people ask me how I actually achieve those high FPS numbers guys and so less input delay here in Fortnite, I just want to share with you guys a very nice optimizer which literally includes everything you guys will ever need to optimize your Windows 11. And don't be worried if you're still on Windows 10, most of the tweaks will also work for you and I'm just gonna show everything here in a quick guide. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, this would help me out so so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, the program we're going to talk about in today's video is actually called Optimizer 10.7 and you can get it straight up from my Discord guys. Just simply click on the first link in the description, join my Discord, verify yourself and there you can get this program along with all the other programs and tweaks I actually have here featured on my YouTube channel. So therefore it's super super easy. And yeah guys, once you get it here on your desktop, just simply double click onto it and open up this program. And what's so insanely good about this Optimizer is it's super up to date, it's getting continuously updates. You can see we have universal settings here which apply for both Windows. 10 and 11 and also some separate Windows 11 settings. Then we have like startup, common apps, cleaner, pinger, host, registry, literally anything you could ask for guys in terms of like tweaking your Windows for like maximum performance in games. You get it all here combined in this tool. And what's also super nice is if you don't know exactly like what each of these things here means, you can just simply hover over it and it will tell you straight up what it does here. Um, enable performance tweaks you can see here, always show files, extensions, disable shake to minimum features. You know these are just like some small tweaks just to make sure that our Windows is actually running at 100% and we actually have maximum performance for gaming. So we're just gonna enable it. You can see like it's getting highlighted here with this nice animation. The next up, network throttling. Of course, also guys, disable Windows Defender. Next up, we have disable smart screen. We're also gonna enable that or better said disable, you know, when we click on it. Um, disable system restore, also same thing guys. Disable error reporting, disable telemetry test, disable office 2016 telemetry. The next up, we have disable print service, disable fax service, you know, obviously disable media player sharing. Um, this is actually something we can do as well because this is just like a sync with like a Microsoft server. So therefore guys, we don't want this. Disable sticky keys as well boys, disable home group, disable super fetch and disable compatibility assistant. And you can be 100% sure guys that this is a trusted program. So therefore all the tweaks we do here are actually only going towards performance. So therefore we will have no issues with normally using our windows actually here guys or gaming. So therefore what you wanna do is click onto apply and restart real quick. And you guys probably by now your Windows PC has been restarted and yeah I just want to make sure that everything is saved already up until now and now we're just gonna move over to the Windows 11 tweaks and you can see guys we have so so many of them and what I want you to do is just pretty much follow everything I'm gonna do here guys trust me this is all like some of these settings which I use myself so therefore we're gonna click here first of all on disable quick access history then we're gonna click on to disable start menu ads then we can see here uninstall OneDrive you know it's like this cloud service built in Windows and I gotta say I never used it myself and it actually takes up so much RAM guys so therefore we're gonna click here onto it to make sure that we uninstall it. The next up disable my people then we have disable Xbox Live um, then we're gonna move over here to the right side disable automatic updates also super nice I mean let's just say you're like an important game and your Windows is just randomly gonna start like downloading some updates bro this is something you don't want. Exclude drivers from updates as well guys because like you don't always need like the latest drivers for every single of your devices You know what I'm saying like for keyboard or something like that So therefore you just don't want these processes um, to be like actually running when you're like in a competitive game like Fortnite or Counter-Strike or whatsoever the next up disable telemetry services um, the next up we have here cloud clipboard we can also disable disable Cortana super important it's like this assistant built into windows and it actually takes so much of your ram guys and cpu power it's crazy the next up we have disable sensor services we don't need that guys the game bar disable insider services features and updates and then next up guys we have to disable widgets disable the chat and yeah, for the rest guys, we pretty much got everything here, which is somehow related to performance. And trust me guys, this is gonna be a huge difference now once you actually restart your windows. So therefore we're gonna click here again onto apply and restart. And yeah, we're pretty much done here with this step as well. So, and then next up here under startup guys, you gotta know for yourself, which are like the programs which you maybe don't need straight up once you launch your windows PC. For me, definitely the Steel Series, um, GG software I don't need, Galaxy Client, then also like the Logitech Hub, I don't need that boys. And what I'm going to do is just simply like select them here, click onto delete and just make sure to de delete them here out of this list. Then we're going to refresh real quick and you can see they're already moved here. This is just like a nice little extra step, you know, to increase our performance actually and just make sure that our Windows is um, going to launch faster. And yeah, that's pretty much it here for this step. And then we're gonna go guys actually here onto cleaner and you can see that I currently have 1.92 gigabytes of temporary files actually here available on my PC to clean 
and that's actually not like so much guys like i i literally seen already pcs where they had like 20 gigs of like temporary files bro like that that's crazy you know what i'm saying because i'm actually like cleaning my pc quite frequently and what you want to do is click here onto select all and also like empty the recycling bin i'm just going to go here onto clean and this program is going to do everything for you in the background these are all just temporary files which you don't need you know let's just say you have like multiple adobe um saves on your pc or whatever i think yeah for me it's going to be mainly like uh, microsoft services since i'm editing a lot here and yeah you can see all these temporary files here these are like just like some quick saves from programs as mentioned as like adobe when you're editing videos or i don't know multiple other programs which are like opened on your pc and windows is always like throwing like some temporary data actually on your hard drive just to make sure that it knows exactly where those programs are but yeah you can see how much space i actually freed up here these are like whole two gigabytes guys so therefore please make sure to do this as well and yeah with that said we're pretty much done here as well so guys and once you applied everything correctly just as shown in today's video um you should definitely feel a huge difference in terms of performance and yeah this is definitely like a tool i can recommend myself because most of these services are really unnecessary and disabling them is definitely going to boost your performance in fortnite chapter 2 season 8 and also now for the upcoming chapter 3 i mean let me know down in the comment section guys how hyped are you for chapter 3 i'm actually super super hyped myself and yeah i can't wait for it to actually launch and yeah therefore there's like a quick preparation because i knew so many people want to grind probably arena or if it's even in there the first day i don't know let's hope so so therefore yeah i thought like for chapter 3 i should definitely release another of these guides and yeah if you liked it just let me know down in the comment section below guys real quick actually uh huge huge shout out to banggood for sending me this chair this is like a blitz wolf chair which usually costs like 169 dollars boys but it's right now on sale for 99 dollars and it's literally the same quality bro as a dx racer like i'm super super amazed Overall, if you just take a look, it feels amazing. You have, of course, these height adjustable uh, things here, you know, these armpits and everything. Full on, like, this leather optic feels amazing. You can also, like, sit super well on it. Like, I just tried it out here over the last one or two days, and I gotta say, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm not getting, like, paid or anything. They just sent me out with my honest review, and I can say for $99, you probably can get a better chair out there right now, guys. Like, I mean, just take a look at it. You also have the pillow here and everything. Just super, super comfortable. For any size comparisons, I'm actually 6 feet 5. So therefore, yeah, if I sit down here, guys, you can see it still fits exactly perfectly here on the sides. And yeah, maybe you guys want to check it out. I would highly appreciate it. Gonna leave a link in the description along with like the front page to the like Black Friday sale. So maybe you guys want to check it out. And you guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light Big foreign, hoe come get inside Diamond Gucci, Lee, come take a dive